He's the longest serving governor in modern history and also the first governor to resign in the face of impeachment. And tonight, News 8 has learned he is now the subject of a federal investigation. News 8's Jamie Miro live in our Hartford newsroom now and why former Connecticut Governor John Rowland is making headlines again. Jamie? Well, Darren and Ann, Governor Rowland, former Governor Rowland, insists there is no wrongdoing here. In fact, he tells the Associated Press that he hasn't been contacted by federal authorities, nor has he received a subpoena. Now, let's break this down for you. This is about Rowland's work and then his volunteer work. Now, the husband of 5th Congressional District candidate Lisa Wilson Foley says a federal grand jury contacted his Apple Rehab company seeking paperwork tied to the consulting work done by Governor Rowland. Now, last April, Wilson Foley revealed Rowland was paid to work for her husband's company for six months as a consultant on such things as labor relations issues and business growth. He was paid $5,000 a month while at the same time was also volunteering for Wilson Foley's campaign. Now, of course, we all remember Rowland resigned in 2004, went to jail in 2005 for corruption. He's currently an afternoon talk show host on WTIC AM radio. Now, Roland did tell News 8's Mark Davis not too long ago that, quote, there is no news here. I did work for one of Brian's companies, and I have volunteered for Lisa's campaign. More to follow. For now, though, we are live in the Hartford Newsroom. I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.